Okay, the United States has just been rocked by four one in a thousand year rainfall events in less than a week. First, there was catastrophic flooding in Texas. Days later, tropical storm Chantal drenched parts of North Carolina, causing major flooding there. And then on Tuesday, rain pummeled New Mexico, causing devastating flash flooding and deadly flash flooding. And in Chicago that same day, five inches of rain fell in only 90 minutes, prompting multiple rescues. Now, all those areas are thought to have a roughly 0.1% chance of this major flooding happening in any given year. Officials at the nonprofit organization Climate Central say to see this many historic and record breaking events over the course of one week is alarming, Justin. Yeah, back here in the valley, we've been breaking we've been uh, breaking a different kind of record. We're talking about heat. Thankfully, meteorologist Ginger Jeffrey says that we're starting to see a little bit of a downward trend here. Yeah, now we're going to switch things out. You know, all those record events were fueled by tropical energy. And, you know, this year is one of the years that they said we're going to have increased tropical activity. In addition, there's this Bermuda high that's basically parked off the Gulf states, and that's just feeding all that moisture into Texas, and then it gets carried up into the Ohio River Valley. So, yeah, just torrential rainfall. Meantime, we've been dealing with that other summer extreme but you know what our extremes don't stop at the heat look at this our historic day uh, in 1995 we had a strong thunderstorm in Phoenix the outflow wind from that actually ripped a roof off of a home in Queen Creek so folks we are seeing the development of some monsoon moisture coming next week which means we'll be watching for those outflows and the winds until that time we're still contending with above normal heat highs today 100 110. We still have this extreme heat warning. It is very small just for the northern rim. There's some bugs flying around. Wait, I almost tried to fly in my mouth. Okay, um, but I think the biggest change up in addition to what's developing next week will be your overnights. It's clear and it's getting better. Our overnight conditions were hanging out in the 90s. I mean, barely in the 90s. So now with the onset of some wind that we'll start to see accompanying that monsoon moisture, we're starting to kind of change up the air in the atmosphere. We're not cooling it down dramatically dramatically, but at least we're coming down by about eight degrees. Now, because of these winds that are also going to coincide with the monsoon moisture, we have heightened fire concerns through the weekend. So just heads up about that and heads up about this. Oh boy, is it going to get active next week? We start monsoon development on Sunday. It looks like it's peaking Wednesday into Thursday. Temperatures obviously coming down. Flagstaff was in the 90s, but next week in the 70s, you and me, we were breaking records, smashing them with 100 18 and then yes with the onset of monsoon moisture we're dropping down to about 102 by the middle part of next week